This is the Late Round Podcast with your host, JJ Zacharisa. JJ Zacharisa. By James White. So it's really tough to find a more consistent PPR running back than James White, at least outside the elite players. On the season, he's finished no worse than RB23 in weekly PPR scoring, but he's been no better than RB14. It's nice to have that week in and week out floor. He's been a great flex option. But what's interesting about his profile is that he also hasn't found the end zone that much. He's only scored once. In other words, he's maintaining this fantasy production without getting that boost from scoring. But he should have more touchdowns. He currently has 358 receiving yards and 66 rushing yards. Since we know that touchdowns correlate pretty well with yards, over the last five years, a running back with those totals has scored on average 2.2 touchdowns. So White's underperforming in the touchdown column when you look at regression from a yards to touchdowns conversion standpoint. Now, if you dig deeper, he definitely should have more touchdowns. Entering last week, James White led the entire NFL in red zone targets. Now, after week eight, he's second in the league, I guess third in the league, behind Julian Edelman and Mike Evans. And he also has four targets within the opponent's 10-yard line. We know he's not going to be the goal line back for New England. He only has one goal line rush this year. But these red zone looks and how James White is being used there, there should be better results. And keep in mind, this is all happening while the Patriots have just been steamrolling teams. They've had crazy positive game scripts. I just talked about how their schedule is going to be tougher. If that happens, if there are more neutral game scripts, maybe we see even more James White usage because he's the primary pass catching back. I mean, what happens if New England actually trails in a contest? Now, Rex Burkhead is somewhat of a threat, but we also know that injuries to that backfield can also help boost James White's value. We saw that last season. So I actually think that James White is one of the best lower key trade targets this week in PPR formats.